Hello and welcome. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping this. Let me test you. Sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> I stepped on the puzzle. Okay. Hello and welcome to the um, uh, ACL uh, test part one or knee test part one. But all of these are gonna have to do is ACL. Let's start with the first one where the position is uh, laying. The patient is gonna have uh, her. Uh, one uh, like the one we we're testing, uh, bent at 90 degrees, so a bit more, a bit less, right there. And we're gonna sit on the foot. <laughs> we're gonna sit on the foot to stabilize it, not not to squish it, but just to stabilize it. And um, um, okay, so we're gonna um, for this one. And sorry, you can't see. We don't have a cameraman, but for this one, I'm gonna place two of my thumbs on each side of the um, tibial tuberosity and my index fingers are gonna go uh, under and uh, I'm gonna place them on the tendons uh, of um, the calf muscles. And so the patient's gonna relax here, so they take a deep breath. Very nice. And um, again, we're testing for the ACL. Um, that's gonna be positive if there's gonna be too much laxity. I'm gonna pull on this and uh, I'm gonna pull. And there's gonna be a slight motion. Um, and that's perfect, that's what we want. Uh, we don't want uh, too much motion because that would indicate that the ACL is ACL is torn. Uh, okay, the next test is going to be the left. Oh, did I say what this test is called? I didn't. <laughs> anterior jaw test. Pretty simple. Anterior jaw test for the knee because we have the same one for the ankle. Um, <laughs> next one is the Lachman's test uh, or the Latchman's test. And for this one, the patient is again going to be laying, uh, and I'm going to find a good position for myself. Um, but she's going to be laying, the knee is going to be slightly bent, this time around 30 degrees, and uh, this Latchman's test requires um, big hands, uh, I think I do have, and so I don't this anymore. So we're going to put um, uh, one, one of our hands on the femur to stabilize it, the other hand uh, under the, or on the calf, and we're going to, again, testing for ACL, uh, too much laxity uh, means that it's positive, and uh, we're gonna uh, pull this up while stabilizing our, um, without our patient uh, lift, lifting off the, the foot. We're gonna pull this up, and there's gonna be slight uh, movement, um, but not too much. And again, too much uh, is bad. That would indicate that the test is positive. And uh, sorry, we don't have a, <laughs> we're doing this in the bed, so the, the leg automatically slides down. Um, uh, if we were doing this on the table, there would be a bit more friction. Um, okay, so um, now we're going to do the prone Lachman's test. So the patient's going to be in the prone position on their belly um, with their tibia hanging off the table, or in this case, the bed. And um, thank you very much. So, <laughs> hope you guys can see this. Uh, if not, I'm sorry, terribly sorry. Um, so. I'm going to lift up the leg, look if you guys can see it. Um, so the femur is automatically stabilized um, because it's it's laying on the uh, table or bed. Uh, we're going to take uh, the top of the, or in this case the bottom, uh, but we're going to raise the tibia up and place our other hand on the uh, proximal end of the tibia. And what we're going to do here is pretty much the same what we did in Lachman set, but reverse. So instead of uh, pulling, we're going to push down on it, and uh, we're going to see uh, there's going to be a little bit of movement. And again, we're testing for ACL, and if there was too much movement, too much laxity, that would indicate that the test is positive. Now then, um, for our fourth and final test, the golden standard. So the patient's going to be laying on her back um, with, uh, uh, yeah, just on her back, and a bit closer to me. Well, I'm going to switch my position. The Lilius, the Lilius test is the golden standard because uh, uh, it tells us almost every time whether there is ACL is torn or not. So for this test, we're gonna, the patient's laying, we're going to put uh, one of our arms under the, uh, around one third of the way uh, under the uh, calf muscle and uh, the other hand on the, uh, the calf. And we're going to press down and we're going to see that her foot pops off and the patient appears to be ticklish. So every time we do that, um, the foot pops up, which means uh, that the ACL is intact. Because 
the ACL is doing that. So she, she doesn't have a torn ACL. Um, and uh, did I say everything? Yeah, for this one, uh, it would be positive if the foot didn't move at all. It would mean that the ACL is torn. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much. That's part one of the special tests of the ACL special.